Find a place called What's the Deal in Detroit, Michigan. So absolutely nobody recommended this restaurant. But I was inside of a restaurant the other day. Somebody walked up to me and said, yo, you need to try this place called What's the Deal. I love Piffles. So I figured I had to stop through here and... Damn, that was good. Stop through here and check it out. Let's see what it's hitting on. They also give you gloves to eat this with. Only... <laughs> only one glove to eat this with. But it's all good. First, we're going to try What's the Deal. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a very interesting concept. Let me explain to you. So they give you two pickles, right? Two big pickles. They slice them in half and make it out of a sandwich. This one right here has corned beef, turkey, shredded cheese, bell peppers, lettuce, sweet, spicy mustard, and seasoning. When you first open the box, you can smell the seasoning. And everything smells so damn fresh. Turkey and the corned beef goes good together. It does say shredded cheese. They didn't give me a lot of that, but I'm cool with that. We also have green bell peppers. I like that too. Now it says it's supposed to have spicy mustard on here. I had some on my hands earlier, but that's really all I see on here. Had this had more spicy mustard, this would have been amazing. It's still pretty good. This next one is called the Kenwood. That's pretty legit too. So this one has imitation crab meat, shredded cheese, red onions, lettuce, ranch, and seasoning. They give you a lot of imitation crab meat. I mean a lot. The shredded lettuce is good and fresh. The seasoning, damn, that just smell real good too. I'm assuming it's some type of seasoning salt or maybe some type of Creole seasoning. Whatever it is, it's good. And now this is supposed to have ranch on it. It does have a little bit of ranch. It does, it does have a little bit. But I really wish this had more ranch. Also, I'm a pickle person. You can't go wrong with pickled vegetables because the pickle itself really isn't that sour. If this had pickled onions on it instead of regular onions, Jesus Christ. But this is still pretty good. Last but not least, we got something called the Big Dill. Hmm, okay. This one has a lot of meat on it. Corned beef, ham, turkey, chicken, pepperoni, salami, bacon, lettuce, tomato, bell peppers, red onions, mild pepper, shredded cheese, hot peppers, mayo, Italian dressing, and seasoning. Now, when you bite into this, nothing else really matters. I say that because all you're gonna taste is the bacon. That's all you're gonna taste when you bite into this because they give you a lot of bacon bits. In my own opinion, it's way too much going on with this. I would've loved to taste some of the pepperoni, the salami, and also the turkey, and also the chicken, because it says it does have chicken, but I can't taste that either. I would've loved to have tasted all that with the Italian dressing and seasoning. Damn, they got jalapenos on this too, see? I think most of y'all will like this because it is a little spicy too, but I wish this was an evenly balanced sandwich. But all in all, phenomenal concept. I still like it. I'm gonna put the address right here. Look, I don't know where I'm at. Took a little, you know, surveillance around the area so you guys can see where I am, if you guys recognize the area. If you like pickles, if you love pickles, this is the best creative breadless concept that has ever hit this channel. You wanna try something different? Come check this place out.